Hey, how's it going everyone? Shinoraku here again to go ahead and talk about the recent update for Killer Instinct. Alongside some gameplay changes and mechanic updates, they went ahead and added Orchid's retro costume from classic Killer Instinct. But it would seem that would not be all. Now, I'm not sure if this was intentional or an actual bug, but much like Swag Needle's DLC costume glitch in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, you can perform a series of steps to acquire Jago's classic Killer Instinct outfit. What you would need to do to perform this glitch is first enter a player vs. CPU match in versus mode. Secondly, select Jago and as your CPU opponent, select Orchid but in her classic costume and change her color. Now, instead of beginning the match, Go back and change Jago's costume color and his classic outfit should appear with all colors accessible. Finally, having done this process, you can go back and pick whichever mode you like, such as versus or online. When going back to these modes, the game should already have Jago highlighted to select in his classic uniform. Now I want to go on record here and say I do prefer the classic costumes over the new redesigns. I'm not saying all redesigns in the new Killer Instinct are bad, but some just don't sit with my taste. Although, when it comes to classic outfits, Jago's classic uniform is one of which that could use some more work. I mean he's still missing hair on the back of his head. His torso piece looks too high up and it ends up looking like a sports bra. His pants look way too tight and overall they're just too over exaggeratedly torn for my taste. Orchid's classic costume on the other hand shh, is hot. Looking like a mix between her KI-1 and KI-2 look. And hot damn! Look at that! I'm really looking forward to Glacius, Saberwolves, and Fulgore's retro looks. But that's a story for another video. But until next time, thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you can. Again, this is Shin Naraku, and until we meet again.